Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to first person mod for Resident Evil 2. This is spooky enough in third person, and I'm playing first person with Mr. X after me. This is not good. So I'm going to have some gameplay maxed out, just the usual settings off. I'm trying to find the star's office. I can't remember. I've not played for a for a week or two. I think that door's locked up there. Here he comes. Gonna have to go the long way around. Keep going. I'll tell you what, this is so much more immersive in first person mode. This should be a standard thing in my opinion. I've said this on the live streams from day one playing this. It should have been a standard option. That just scared me to, <laughs> to have this uh, playable in first person as standard. I am really pooing myself right now. Of course, I will leave links in the description to the first person mod. It's just a DLL file. Just copy and paste that into your RE2 directory in Steam. And you can play. But you get to see all the details. There's a lot of detail and love care goes into Resident Evil and the RE engine is, is amazing. It's It's got to be my favorite engine right now. And of course, a huge fan of Resident Evil. I've pretty much all the games from the PS1 onwards. My favorite being Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. So I really hope they remake that. It's pretty much a given now, to be fair. I'd be very surprised if they don't do it. I mean, that texture looks okay. But that cupboard don't look that good in first person. But that looks okay. So maybe it's just that one texture. Let's have a look. Yeah, that stuff looks okay. Ari engine just amazing, man. Love it. But it's more, more of a reason to poo yourself in first person. Replayability as well. It's amazing that the mod's just a simple DLL. It's, it's very tiny. It's copy-paste. So, good thing is, we got this. And as you can see, field of view is 90, like I said. But you can't really see some of the guns. As she holds it like hip fire, it's down below. Whereas if we hold the pistol here, that's up more. I've got no ammo for it at the moment, but you can kind of see that like a normal game. So there's a lot of head bob. I'm not sure if there's a way of getting rid of that. I couldn't find a way, uh, but you can go through the settings. As there is a little window you can bring up by pressing insert to change certain settings. Play around with it a bit. Enable, disable, third person, first person. All while in game. So let's head out of this room. See what trouble we can get into. I'm going to leave you with a bit of gameplay of me pooing myself. And I hope this helped you get first person mode working. Oh God. Am I going to make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, snap. Come on, you ugly motherfucker. Oh, no. I was so lucky. Okay. He's just undo his fly. Right, well, he's taking a leak. I'm out. 
No matter how many times you run past them, they get you every time. Every goddamn time. Atmosphere is amazing. Honestly, I don't know why this isn't a normal part. Please, Capcom, if you see this video, which I doubt you will. Give a, give a little update, little DLC, first person mode. Immersive, a lot of people are here. Real playability. Here now, sorry guys. I was deep in it there, deep in the immersion. <laughs> oh, I remember this place. Get lost, William. understand you. You need help. Why? Cheers. He's right behind you. What? Huh? Oh, my God. oh no. 